Okay, hello everybody. I hope everybody is well. Every once in a while, the Torah teaches us a principle in an extreme case, and we extrapolate from that case to all regular cases. And in Kitetze, the Torah teaches about the need to bury the deceased and not to leave them out. That would be an affront to human dignity. And the example given is an extreme case. It says, So we have a criminal who's put to death for a death penalty crime, and then we're told, Lo talin Don't let it hanging on that tree overnight. Ki kavortik bredu biyomahu. Rather bury him on that day. So we're told that even a criminal, someone who did a very serious crime and merited the death penalty, we still care about human dignity, and they are not to be left hanging, they must be buried that day. Certainly everybody who dies also requires a swift burial. Now the Pasuk then goes on to give a rationale. And this is quite interesting. Why kavartik bredu biyomu? Why must we bury him that day? Ki kilat Elohim toloi. Now, what does this phrase mean, kilat Elohim toloi? So I'd like to briefly mention three approaches and focus on the third. The Rashbam says a practical problem. Elohim can also mean judges. So what is kilat Elohim toloi? People see a criminal hanging, they're going to curse the judges. The judge, how could you leave my relative hanging there? It's going to lead to ill feeling, to negative thoughts about the judiciary. So we can't leave it hanging. It's going to cause practical enmity. That's the Rashba. Ibn Ezra assumes that the crime that was committed was actually blasphemy. So kikilat el Taloi is a reference not to the result of hanging, but to the crime. Because someone was a blasphemer and is hanging there, and we need to move on. We need to get them buried and move on. However, the pirush that I really want to focus on is that it's not Elohim judge, but Elohim God. And of course, one of the foundations of Jewish ethics is the idea that humanity is created in the image of God. And that perhaps is the basic reason why we have this concept of human dignity, of kavod abrio. And then there, it's a, not a practical issue, but an ethical issue. Kilat Elohim taloi. The image of God, a human being, is hanging there. And we can't affront that dignity. We need to bring them down, give them a decent burial. Even if they're a criminal, right, the crimi criminality does not make you lose the image of God. Now, this is a crucial point, and perhaps one of the most fa foundational aspects of Jewish ethics. And arguably, not arguably, I think this is a universal point. It, doesn't, it does not only apply to the Jewish people, it applies to the whole world. Right? There's a famous Mishnah Navot, Chaviv Adam Shinevra B'Tselem, Beloved is man mankind, humanity created in the image of God. And the second part of the Mishnah is Chaviv and Yisrael Shinekwim Banim Lumakom. Beloved is Israel that are called the children of God. And that Mishnah is setting up an important duality that we feel a special status, a chosenness of Am Yisrael, but we also feel there's something special about humanity. Humanity is not like the rocks or the beavers. They're not like the animal kingdom. There's a dignity that's needed towards every single human being, qua human being. And that's Kilat Elohim Taloi. And this is even manifested in Sefer Yoshua. When Yeshua defeats the Canaanite kings, it says in the Pasuk that he took them down before nightfall. He took down the bodies that were hanging. This works on the universal principle, kilat elhim toloi. And this is something for us to think about. Certainly, we're all out there in the world, we're interacting with broader humanity. On the one hand, we feel a special connection to Am Yisrael, the Rav Makom. At the same time, we feel this universal connection, that there's something very unique and uh, deserving of respect in every human being that we meet. Every human being is created in the image of God and needs to be treated accordingly. I wish you have a wonderful Shabbat and a productive uh, continuation of whatever endeavors you're in the middle of.